Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of converting units, specifically how we can convert units between the customary and metric systems, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a simple conversion up here. One gallon is approximately, so that's what these wavy equal signs mean, approximately. It's close to about 3.8 liters, so that's going between our customary system and our metric system for capacity. And so we want to know, okay, so using that conversion, right, 96 quarts is approximately how many liters? So we'll just call that X. That's our unknown right there. Well, first off, we need to get these quarts and gallons into the same unit. So let's go ahead and change our quarts into gallons. Let's do a conversion uh, between these two right here. That's going to help me. So let me see. So I know that four quarts will make a proportion. That's going to help me know what to do. Four quarts equals one gallon. Remember when we're making our conversion here, we're, we're keeping our like units in the numerator and like units in the denominator. So I need 96 quarts, and that's going to equal my unknown number of gallons. So a little cross multiplication here. We see that 96 times 1 is going to equal 4 times, we'll call that y. So really that's 96 times 4y. Let's divide both by 4. And there we go. So 96 divided by 4, it's going to be 24, because 25 would get me uh, 100. And that's just one less. So that's going to equal my y. So really, this 96 quarts, let's just call that 24 gallons. There we go. So that's a little bit better for me. 24 gallons is approximately how many liters. So we might need to do a conversion within the same system before we can do the conversion between systems. So let's set up another proportion because we know that one gallon is equal to 3.8 liters. And now I've got my other over here. We're going to keep our like units in the numerator and denominator. 24 gallons is going to equal my unknown, we'll call that x, liters. So Take a look what I've got here. I've got a little cross multiplication, but I've simply got 1 times x equals 3.8 times 24. So really, this is just x. So my answer is simply going to come from this 3.8 times 24. I just simply need to do that multiplication, and I'll get my equivalent number of liters. So let's figure that out. 24, 3.8. We'll ignore the decimal right now. So that is 32. And that is 16, add the 3 is 19, and that is 12, 2 and 3 is 6, and so the 1 is 7, so there we go, let's see. So I got 9, 12, bring that decimal back in, so 91 and 2 tenths liters is approximately uh, the equivalent to our 96 quarts or 24 gallons. Let's look at a different example. So we have another conversion here. 8 kilometers is approximately 5 miles. So we're converting length here. So let's say we get a problem and we're asked about how many kilometers can you find in 100 miles. So let's set up a proportion again. Let's make sure we have our like units. At least we have miles and miles together, so we don't necessarily need to convert within any system. So 8 kilometers equals is over five miles. We're going to keep our like units in the same spot. So we're going to do about 100 miles is our unknown number of kilometers. That's what we're looking for. And so we'll just call this x. And so let's do a little cross multiplication. So we've got 5x equals 8 times 100. So really, that's 5x equals 800. And we just need to divide both sides by 5 to isolate the variable. So that's going to look like a pretty good answer here. Let's get this 5 into 800. So we have to do this extra step of dividing afterwards, but that's fine. 5 goes into 800 once. That's 30. That's going to be 6. And you can see we're going to get a nice even number here, so 160. So we can say 100 miles is about 160 kilometers.